On Friday, 38-year-old Dijon Anderson was arrested in California nearly two years after her son, 5-year-old Cairo Jordan's body was found inside a suitcase in southern Indiana. U.S. Marshals arrested her without incident as she tried to board a train in California. She's now charged with murder, neglect of a dependent resulting in death, and obstruction of justice. Well, upon hearing the news on Friday, Jeff Meredith, the man who found Cairo's body, ran to Cairo's final resting place to tell him what had happened. WHAS 11's Alyssa Newton sat down with Meredith to get his reaction to Anderson's arrest after all this time. First looking back. The story began with Jeff. It still hurts just as bad today as it did two years ago, you know? He's the mushroom hunter who found the young boy in a suitcase on his property. A fellow shouldn't be treated that way, ever. He still keeps up with every update, especially last week's announcement. You can run, girl, but you can't hide. And now she's got to answer to all the bad things she's done in her life. In Salem, Indiana, the small town at the heart of a story that's played out for over the last two years, seasons change, but sentiments stay the same. It's in this part of rural Washington County, back in 2022, where Cairo Jordan, a young boy, was found dead in a suitcase. It's still a sorrowful and a, a somber moment. But Friday marked the start of a new chapter. I had a really good feeling. Watching the press conference on his phone, it's the news Jeff Meredith had been praying for. Investigators apprehended De Dewan Anderson last night without incident in Arcadia, California. After months of hiding from police, an anonymous tip led officers to Cairo's mother. I was happy, but yet excited and yet uh, beside myself. She faces felony charges of murder, neglect of a dependent resulting in death, and obstruction of justice, all in connection with the death of her son. We did know that this, was, this day was going to come. And that's when I ran over and told Cairo at his gravesite. Flowers and toys still wrap around the little boy's headstone, a spot he's come to many times before. In my heart, I've adopted him as my own. In my heart. And that means a lot to me. A place where after all this time, many continue to show love for a child they never met. A love that knows no bounds. But my community that I live in came together and helped an innocent soul that they had no idea who he was and took care of him. I loved him the way he needed to be loved before his death. This story is still being written. Officers are currently in the process of bringing Anderson back to Washington County. Jeff says oh, absolutely. he'll be watching every moment. I've got to make sure that justice is really served. And while there's no guarantee on how this story will end, Jeff knows in his heart how his will. That makes me happy, knowing that I'm going to die someday, and I'm going to get to speak to that little feller, and I'm going to tell him everything that Washington County done for him. In Salem. And why they did. Alyssa Newton, WHAS 11, on your side. Indiana State Police Sergeant Carrie Hull says detectives are traveling to the jail right now where Anderson is being held to continue the investigation. She will be brought back to Indiana, but an exact timeline is not yet known.